In the previous video, we learned about creating Taylor series, and now we're going to learn about creating new Taylor series using substitution. So say that you want to find the Taylor series expansion for e to the x squared. What you could do if you want to do things the hard way is you could just directly make the Taylor series for e to the x squared. So you would have to take one derivative of this and get e to the x squared times 2x. And then we would need to take the derivative of that. So you would have to use your product rule. So you'd have 2e to the x squared plus 2xe to the x squared times another 2x. And then we would need to keep taking derivatives. So it would get more and more complicated. If you want to do things the hard way, no problem. Go ahead and do that. But I'll show you an easier way to create this Taylor series expansion. So what we're going to do instead is create the Taylor series expansion for just plain old e to the x. And that's nice because taking derivatives of e to the x is super easy. So if we have f of x is e to the x, then f prime of x is e to the x, f double prime of x is e to the x, and so on. So that means that if we evaluate, let's say that we're creating this Taylor series expansion around 0, then f of 0 is 1 f prime of zero is one, f double prime of zero is one, and so on. So when we then create our Taylor series expansion for e to the x, we'd have one plus x over one factorial plus x squared over two factorial plus x cubed over three factorial plus x to the four over four factorial and so on. All right, so now we have the uh, Taylor series expansion for e to the x. And to find the Taylor series expansion for e to the x squared, what we're going to do is look at this Taylor series here. And anywhere we see an x, we're going to write in x squared instead. So then that means that e to the x squared is equal to 1 plus x squared plus x to the 4 over 2 factorial plus x to the 6th over 3 factorial plus x to the 8 over 4 factorial, and so on. So nice, clean, and easy. That's how we can create a new series. Here we're creating a new series for e to the x squared. And we did that by substituting in x squared for x in our Taylor series for e to the x.